Hi everyone and welcome to this particular tutorial. This particular is my new script, the first I released here on ESScript.com and it's uh, aimed to users of particular from Trapcode. What particular does is that it enables 3D interaction between your particular layer and your 3D layers. So I'm going to show you how it works. Let's have a quick look at my uh, composition right now. So you can see uh, I've got a color correction layer, which is something standard in, uh, in everyday AE use. I've got a camera, uh, which moves the planets like this. I've got my asteroid field which is in fact my particular layer with um, a custom particle of asteroid with a fixed size I don't know where the size is but uh, yeah in, with a fixed size and the emitter is a box um, with this size which is 10,000 by 10,000 by 10,000 so uh, we are sure that we've got particles in front of, between, and behind the planets. So that's it for my particular layer. Then I've got four planets, planet 1, 2, 3, 4. By the way, I would like to say that all the um, pictures of the planets and the sky are from the Sky Image Lab at uh, skyimagelab.com. So be sure to check their website. OK. And then I've got a background in 2D also. And uh, the asteroid precomp is just my particle. So um, the first thing you have to do in order to have this particular work is to select your main composition and your co particular com uh, layer, and then click on this particular. OK, now you can see that everything is broken. Why is that? Uh, Sparticular needs to sort your layers in Z-space. That means that all your 3D layers will be properly sorted, but every 2D layers uh, won't be sorted properly, so they're going to be messed up. And that's exactly what we can see. We've got our BG here. So let's bring him back downstairs. Better. And we've got our color correction. I'm going to put it on top. So now you will notice that we've got uh, a particular control called particular master, which is a copy of the old particular layer. I've got a backup copy of the particular layer. Both of them are disabled by default um, simply because if I enable them I'm going to have all the particles back um, as they were. And we've got some particular layers which are instances of the main particular layer. I'm going to move downstairs also my particle layer. OK, so now if we check just the particular, particular layers, we can see that we've got the asteroids in front of this planet. Then we've got asteroids back behind planet 1 and in front of planet 3. And then we've got asteroids behind planet 3 and in front of planet 2 and so on until the last planet. So now we can clearly see if I'm going to unsolo everything if I go full res I'm going to take a picture and then I'm going to show 
this particular master and hide all the other particles okay that was before and that is now before now going full screen we can see better i guess before and now so we can see that on the planet some particles get behind and that's the point of this particular okay now i'm going to bring back everything it needs so now let's imagine that you need to modify your particular you can see that if we change for example let's change the amount of particles on the control layer no, oh, I'm going back to quarter resolution and let's fit to 50% we can see that nothing changes at all this is because uh, by default the particular control is linked to every particular layer but the links are not enabled why is that? it's because uh, it's really 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 memory in intensive and uh, it's very huge render drop so I'm going to show you a la this layer and press EE to reveal the expressions every single expressionable property of every single instances are linked to this particular control if you are on particular 1.5 it's about 44 properties that are linked to the master and if you are on particular v2 it's about uh, 80 or 90 so let's imagine that i've got 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80 properties to link and update in real time to this particular control well you can do you can do it it's called the interactive mode so let's check for example the interactive mode and now we can see that we have increased our number of particles and the particles are now if I go there properly linked and you see every single parameter is in red meaning that is linked by an expression and that takes a lot of time to render um, so there is a second problem with this system it's every property that has, haven't got a stopwatch is not um, keyframeable and then is not expressionable so if you are here and want to change the emitter type to point it won't be reflected here and that's not good so i'm going to deactivate the interactive mode just uh, a quick thing if you are using zoro the layer tagger also available from earscript.com you will see that all my particular layers are tagged with this particular so uh, the script is taking into account the row the layer tiger so if you are using it you can uh, quickly select all the particular layers by clicking this particular tag okay that's what just a little uh, feature and i'm going to show the info palette oops instead of the row now so let's get back uh, what if i want to change for example so if we want to change to sphere to box or any any parameters that cannot be for example ah yes i know i'm seeing that you cannot change for example the layer or the time sampling or the sprite or everything if you if you want to change for example the, this to sphere you can check the update button 
and now every layer is modified by sphere so the update button will update every single property even the non keyframeable it will update everything at once uh, so you still have to click the update button to see the updates you can have the two modes working together for example if I say 10 particles per second and I'm going to even remove the keyframes wow we just get one maybe I was a bit too shy let's say 100 okay so the other thing to be really careful of when you use the interactive mode is that the values are linked by expression but they are not updated so if I broke the interactive mode um, we are back to 1000 so if you want uh, to test uh, your particles with the interactive mode and then want to uh, modify everything uh, and update every other layers with your new parameters you have to click update and when the script is working you can see here well that it is working so if I uncheck interactive mode if I check back so if you have the info palette uh, you know that the script haven't crashed or anything like that and we are done so that w that's it for this quick tour of Sparticula I hope you will enjoy the script and uh, feel free to uh, send me an email if you have any problem or if you want some uh, features for version 2.0 and uh, I hope you like it. See you later. Bye.